Welcome back. This is the 5th of February, Thursday morning. If you're just joining us, a very good morning to you. Yes, we are in the, the concluding segment on Rise and Shine for this morning's show. And we do have a guest on the show with us. Battle of the Bands, produced by Channel I, was actually produced by Nipunir Rajapaksha. So we have a product, an outcome of Battle of the Bands. Well, place, third place in the females category was uh, Binali Ravinga. Very good morning to you, Binali. Good morning to you. Good morning. Binali, it's uh, actually you, your place third in this particular contest. So uh, how do you feel about it? I'm proud. Like, I'm proud of myself because uh, I've never been trained before, but I've done music. I've played the piano, but uh, I haven't gone for voice training. I train myself, so I'm proud. <laughs> All right, uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. So, uh, Ravika, tell us a little bit about uh, your background, uh, how you're schooled and where and so on. Um, I schooled at Muses College and um, now I'm studying in the third year. I'm doing my degree in software engineering and uh, with that so, uh, my university was the first place that gave me an approach to music uh, to sing in the public. I've never sung before so yeah. So that is your build up to it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the journey during this particular contest. Like any other context I'm sure it would have been a very challenging yeah. experience for you, not only new, but it would have been a challenge for you as well. Let's talk about the challenges and how you overcame them as well. Yeah, uh, before taking part in Battle of the Bands, I took part in Slitska Talent in 2013 and uh, I was one of the finalists. And then um, it was my mom who pushed me to go to Battle of the Bands because it was going to be a very good experience for me. And then, uh, so, I got so many experiences, like uh, I was someone who, st who was sticked into the book, but uh, once I started take taking part in it, uh, I saw a different world, like there are so many talented people, um, I don't know, I have no words to express how happy I am for taking part in it, it was really good. And also let's uh, talk about uh, the people who really supported you, especially when it came to uh, the training process and so on, uh, the battle of uh, the bands uh, itself, the whole event. Yes, uh, first of all I would like to thank my mom because uh, my mom, my sister and my brother, uh, they were the ones like, uh, since I didn't have a trainer, they were like uh, always uh, giving me comments on my songs mm -hmm. and listening to my songs, uh, though they can't listen to it, they still help me a lot. Then, um, then my friends, my friends at my uni especially, whenever I go for auditions I will definitely uh, sing and uh, get comments on my song. And um, Mrs. Pratibha Samadini Hetiyaj, she's one of the instructors at my campus. And uh, she supported me a lot, like encouraged me in everything I did. And also the judges of Battle of the Bands, Mr. Rukshan Pereira and uh, Mrs. Noyalin Hunter. Uh, the reason I am here today is uh, because of them. They gave me a lot of encouragement and everything. And uh, Mr. Richard, Richard Desaisa, who is the creator of Battle of the Bands, he encouraged me a lot. And uh, Tushi Veera Singha and um, Mr. Nipun and Mr. Sanji were the producers of the program. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we have a visual we want to share with the audience once yes. again. Just want to refresh some of the memories when mm -hmm. what's something you performed for us on uh, Rise and on Battle of the Bands. We want to share with you across Rise and Shine as well. So let's take a look at this first.
All right, there we go, the memories of the Battle of the Bands. So, what do you feel now? Oh, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Uh, we were talking a little bit about the challenges you had to face. Some question I want to ask you is, growing up, it wasn't always that we got to listen to uh, classical English songs. We had a set of songs we li really used to listen to, something around the top 40 maybe, but some of the songs you've selected throughout your journey here at Channel I have been a bit different, been uh, very like classical or been not the, f uh, not the most popular songs. Yeah. Tell us, how did you learn about these songs and why did you choose those songs? Um, I really like pop music, but uh, mostly this kind of songs, since I was a kid, I always loved to uh, listen to this mm -hmm. kind, because it's like, um, it calms, calms me down. Like, even when I study, when, when I listen to that kind of music, it's really soothing and it's really nice. So, um, I didn't like those, uh, uh, I like the loud songs, but not the fast numbers like rock or th those stuff. So um, I always uh, listen to those songs and uh, I tried singing those songs. So maybe that's the reason. <laughs> All right, uh, so with that, uh, we will be taking a short uh, break on Rise and Shine. And uh, before we go there, mm -hmm. I think I want to ask her just a little bit once more. Uh, growing up, very short, if you can give me about two or three names uh, of the people you looked up to in the music field, who are your maybe mentors or inspirations? Yeah. Celine Dion mm -hmm. and um, Leona Lewis, Alicia Keys, mainly those are the three people I like the most. All right, All right uh, so with that we will be going for a short break and we'll be right back to talk more with Binali. All right, uh, we are back and uh, Binali, we've been talking a lot about uh, your education, how you got into the music field and how you came up in your life, especially about your inspiration and so on. So uh, let's uh, go for a performance, a live performance this time around. You would love to hear your voice on Rise and Shine live. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so what's the song you're going to sing? Uh, you Raise Me Up by Westlife. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to dedicate this to my mom because uh, those words are perfectly matching for my mom. So. Oh, mm -hmm. 
right, what a beautiful piece of music. Thank you. <laughs> right, uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your future plans in terms of music. Uh, now, you said you're into software engineering and you're pursuing your higher education, so music side of it, what are your future plans? Mm, yeah. Um, when it comes to music, I've always loved singing, so I will be singing in the future as well. And uh, since I'll be busy during the next year and this year, so um, I'll not be able to do a major task in music, but uh, I will look forward to sing like here and there. Like I won't stop music, but still I will be singing. And after the degree, I will definitely uh, get into music and do something major. Yeah. And when you're talking about doing something for the music career in Sri Lanka, you're blessing up, building up your music career. Would you like to base it mostly on English songs or maybe a bit of mix somewhere along the lines? Mix, I guess. Can you sing in Singhala as well? Yes, Are I you going do. to be singing to us in Singhala today? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not ready with that today. <laughs> but, but for the next show on Rising, you're going you're gonna to sing for us in Singhala, right? Definitely. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right, uh, so talking about uh, your future plans in uh, music and so on, uh, we would also like to ask you, so are you planning on your originals? Are you writing lyrics? and? Uh, with that side of it? Um, I'm not good at writing, but I will definitely uh, release some originals as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from? From my mom, because my mom. she used to sing when she was young. So maybe because of that, that I can sing today. What do you like to sing about most? Is it about love? Is it about mother's love? Is it about life in general? Or what are the themes you like to base your songs on? Um, mother's love, love, basically, mm -hmm. and the others. Yeah, I can sing all the other sizes, but majorly love and mother's love. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your hobbies. Apart from singing, what do you do during your free time? Um, uh, I've uh, played the piano since I was a kid. So uh, since uh, I did A-levels, I had to stop uh, playing the piano. So now uh, I'm, I've started to practice again. So uh, that's my hobby, like singing and playing the piano. To complement each all right, other. So are you into a particular genre or you're um, looking at all different types of music? Uh, all different types of music. Like once I listen to a song, if it's like, uh, oh my God, I love this song, I can sing it, that I like it. I don't have a particular genre. All right, Binali, also I want to ask you now, uh, when it comes to um, youngsters like uh, you, uh, upcoming artists, uh, now uh, we see in the present day society there are so much of upcoming artists who come, but then uh, what really matters is sustaining in the industry. So yeah. what do you think about it? After all, uh, perhaps it could be a hobby that you're doing or it could be your passion as well. So how do you think you can really sustain in this music industry? Mm, yeah, there are many... Uh, very talented artist today but it's not like i want to be a big musician and i want to be popular like uh, popular worldwide it's like uh, i want to help the people uh, who need help like uh, once i was uh, watching this uh, series of a reality show uh, it's a uh, reality show like our battle of the bands and uh, the winner of that reality show uh, always said once uh, th there were people who told him that um, when they listen to his songs, the, all their troubles are gone and like they're totally into that song. That's what I want to be, like help the others. Oh. Right, uh, we want to revisit one of the songs you sang for us on Battle of the Bands. Let's refresh our memories with this song.
we go on with the final concluding part of the show with Binali. Binali, we want to ask you, we saw this particular song uh, on Rise on Battle of Bands. Are you more of an indoor person or an outdoor performer? Would, we, would you prefer live co uh, performances or would you prefer concert type of setups? Um, I prefer both. Like uh, I took part in one of the co concerts. Mm -hmm. That was my first concert. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, Rukshan Ankar's live in concert uh, held on January 18th. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was great. Like it was a great experience. I sang with the winner of the Battle of the Bands and another uh, g talented girl. So. Um, it was awesome actually and also uh, I took part in another indoor uh, kind of thing. It was a get together actually, Richard, Mr. Richard Desoiza, the creator, he's the one who gave me the chance to sing in that. So I like both of them, yeah. And right. what do you think is more challenging, <laughs> indoor or outdoor performances? Like especially like when you go outdoors at a concert, you see the crowd and mm -hmm. it's a completely different vibe to what you probably groomed yourself up to in the changing rooms on the dressing rooms or backstage. But so when you come out on stage and you see the crowd, it might be a little bit more challenging. In your opinion, which is tougher? Um, actually, I prefer the concert, like uh, with, the, with the audience. If there's a large audience and if they're like cheering up and if they're so supporting to us, it's, it's very comfortable for me when singing. And when it uh, comes to Slitzga Thailand, I took part. That was also very, uh, I was really, really nervous once I got onto the stage, but when, the, uh, when all the, my friends and the, all the others in the audience started uh, cheering for me, I was so happy and it was really comforting. That <laughs> gives you an encouragement yeah, yeah, itself. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, finally, we would like to ask you what's the message that you would like to convey for, especially when it comes to the youngsters like you who are coming up in music? Yeah, um, actually, when it comes to me, I was someone who, who was sticked into the books, as I told you earlier. So it's a really big world, and you've got to experience a lot of things. And I want to tell the upcoming artists and all the others who are watching this program um, to enjoy the life. It's, it's a really great thing once you get a chance to uh, showcase your talents and everything. It's a really good thing. All right, Binali Ravinga, thank you very much for being a part of today's show. With that, we'll have to wind up Rise and Shine's Thursday's edition. But of course, we're going to wind it up with one of your songs on Rise and Shine. So until that, have thank a good you. day, Rise and Shine. And uh, I want to thank Chan Lai for having me here. All right, thank All right. you. I heard there was a secret call that David played and he pleased the Lord. That you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major.